Hello and welcome to free Excel tutorial videos. Today I'm going to show you how you can auto fill the letters in Alphabet in Microsoft Excel. Okay. Now you may already know how to use auto fill. Uh, for instance, to auto fill dates, like in this worksheet I have here dates. So you can auto fill the dates just by you know, dragging the mouse down. And you can see that the autofill will fill in the dates a day at a time. Okay, we have 27, 28, 29 November. Okay, well, um, in this column, you can also autofill time. Okay, so let's do the same. We move the mouse to the bottom right corner, and when you see the black cross, just click and drag it down, and you can see that Excel will autofill the cells with. Uh, time um, by incrementing one hour at a time. Okay, to fill in numbers, if you do it the same way and drag it down, Excel will make a copy in every cell that you 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 choose you selected. So in order to autofill a numbers, uh, say like number one, then two, three, four, five, uh, you can. Hold down the control key as you perform the autofill. So let's hold on the control key and autofill. So you can see that Excel has entered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. Okay. Um, so what about months? Okay, months is very easy because uh, Excel has a built in list in it. So you just autofill and you can see that. Uh, it will fill in uh, the next month accordingly. Okay. And for filling days, you can do the same. Just come to the bottom right and auto fill. But here I have a tip for you. Say that you do not want to have Saturday and Sunday because it's the week weekends. Okay. You only want the weekdays. So you can come over here to this auto fill options. Uh, click on it and you can see fill weekdays. You can choose and you will only see weekdays uh, when you autofill. So if I continue to autofill, you know, I'll only see weekdays here. Okay. So what about letters? Okay. If we autofill this, okay, letter A, if we autofill, we'll get uh, A in all the other selection. Okay. This is similar to numbers. Okay. Let me undo this. So this is not what we want, okay? So here's the thing. For every character in Excel, A, B, C, D, E, L, G, comma, numbers, 1, 2, 3, whatever character it is, there is a formula to represent it. So for the alphabetical letter, the formula for A is, I have it in here, which is equals character uh, 65, okay? And B is 66, 67, and so on. Okay, so in order for us to be able to autofill uh, uh, letters, we need to tweak this formula in, in a little way. So I have the formula right here. Okay, it's this formula. Okay, we have the character formula, but we nest the rule formula inside the character formula. Okay, so go ahead and um, copy down this formula if you want to use it. Okay, so what we're doing is uh, we combine the character function and the row function. So I have this uh, row function nested inside the character function. So now when I autofill, okay, when I autofill, you can see that we will get the alphabet in order. Okay, so let's do it all the way till Z. Okay, now we are from A to Z or A to Z. Alright. Okay. Now we want to be able to make this into a built-in list in Excel. Okay, so that we can autofill it in any workbook that we have or any worksheet that we have. So what we want to do, how we can do it is we want to write we first we want to select the alphabets in order. Okay, A to Z, like you can see I already have them selected over here. So I'm gonna right-click. 
and I'm going to copy okay so you see the cells are copied so I'm going to right click again and here I'm going to go to and select paste special and in this paste special dialog I'm going to choose value and I'm going to click OK okay so now keep the cell selected and I'm using um, Excel 2007 okay um, this is my version and if you have a newer version you can still do the same thing but I'll tell you where you need to look okay so for Excel 2007 okay you have the cells selected you go over here to this Excel button and you go to Excel options okay here for Excel 2007 you will go to the popular tab okay but if you are using Excel 2010 or newer you have to go to the advanced tab okay so for Excel 2007 you go to the popular tab for Excel 2010 2013 you go to the advanced tab so when you go to either the popular tab or the advanced tab depending on your Excel version you will see this edit custom list icon okay so just click on this one and you will see the custom list dialog box okay here you can already see uh, this, the, the number of lists that Excel has okay like days as well as the months okay and notice that here the import list from cells okay so uh, I already have an input because we have selected the cells before we came here remember we have our cell selected so this is the cell range that we have for the alphabets so we just click import and now we have a new list and then click OK okay so now if I come back here let's go to a new sheet and type in A I can come here and I can just drag this down go to fill and you can see I have A, B, C, D, E, F, G all of them in order I can also drag it sideways or horizontally I can get A, B, C, D, E, F, G ok and I don't even have to start from A I can start from J let's say and it doesn't matter if it's a capital letter or they are not capital letter I will have I will be able to autofill them uh, the same okay so there you go you have learned how to autofill letters in alphabet for Microsoft Excel this is a good tip and an easy tip for you to learn I hope uh, you like this tutorial video I will see you in the next video